When people point out the painful truth to you about yourself, do you get angry and defensive? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Two Kentucky farmers who own racing stables had developed a keen rivalry. One spring, each of them entered a horse in a local steeplechase. Thinking that a professional rider might help him outdo his friend, one of the farmers engaged a crack jockey. The two horses were leading the race at the last fence, but it proved too tough for them. Both horses fell on seating their riders, but this calamity did not stop the professional jockey. He quickly remounted and won the race. Returning triumphant to the paddock, the jockey found the farmer who had hired him fuming with rage. What's the matter? The jockey asked. I won, didn't I? Oh yes, roared the farmer. You won all right, but you still don't know, do you? Know what? Asked the jockey. You won the race on the wrong horse. In today's gospel reading, Jesus faces an angry mob who accuse him of blasphemy for claiming to be God. In the first reading, Jeremiah was persecuted for preaching the truth in God's name. He was arrested, beaten, and imprisoned, a fate Jesus will shortly enter into with crucifixion as the ending. We too see ourselves on either side of the spectrum. We can be the accuser or we can be the accused. On the former, we may have the right intentions by pointing out certain faults others have with brotherly love and a genuine intent to help. But we may also be led to criticize someone's wrong or seeming inappropriate behavior. Oftentimes, tinged with negativity and with a critical spirit. This can lead us to sin as we can judge people without complete information or because of hearsay. We can be led to sin when we let our emotions and spiteful, vengeful motivations lead us to correct people. Worse would be to bring others to sin by provoking others to also throw stones at the subject person. Examine the way you reveal a painful truth or give your correction to others. Like the Jews who hated Jesus, do you throw stones at others through your words? Oftentimes, you may say a painful truth to someone, but you may need to cleanse your heart first of any insincerity and ill motivation. Measure your words so as not to provoke a defensive stance on the receiver's part, and use your voice in a soothing and calm manner to help others accept the truth. This can be very tricky as, in many occasions, the object of your correction or constructive criticism may become angry and defensive even if you have tried your best to communicate well. Doing your spiritual preparation before facing the person should be appropriate. Praying and fasting for the right disposition for yourself and the other person will surely lead to the right conclusion. It may take a while, but God's grace is always present when your intention and words are helped by prayer and fasting. On the other side of the spectrum is yourself as the recipient of the truth. You can be the accused, the recipient of a criticism, or the object of correction. You may readily accept the truth or respond with prideful anger and defensiveness. When one puts pride and a defensive front before humility and self-improvement, it can lead to harmful consequences. When we try to escape our responsibilities and deny our faults and weaknesses, as pointed out to us, we can be led to sin, either now or in the future. For example, the principal of the school calls you to report to you that your child has been an academic and disciplinary problem. You may take it as a judgment on yourself as a parent. Instead of facing the problem and finding ways to help your child improve, you refuse to accept the evaluation and take the easy way out by defending your child. You may be preparing yourself for a life of grief if you ignore the warning signs today. The truth that Jesus preached can be very difficult to accept too. To deny oneself, carry one's own cross, and follow him requires great resolve and grit. To forgive those who have wronged us and forbear with those who test our patience and goodness requires self-sacrifice. Accepting Jesus as our Lord and Savior without any hesitation, reservation, or doubt, along with these seemingly difficult teachings, is a mark of one who is not thinking short-term for himself and for his loved ones. The prospect of a life of eternal joy, plus the benefits of a peaceful and joyful existence here on earth, 
should be enough to bring us to accept the truth and be bearers of the truth. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, make me be a doer of your word and not just a hearer of your word. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.